Okay, folks, welcome to Best Stock Charts for the coming week. This is Bob Desmond, and it is Saturday, the 7th of November, 2020. At the time of my recording here, the the whole of the mainstream media, they must have had a conference call because across the board, whether it be Fox, whether it be the New York Post, the New York Times, they have all, all come out and said or proclaimed Biden is the winner of this election. Now, I could have sworn that we the people chose the president when we the people could not choose the president well i believe that comes down to some court rulings ultimately to end up at the supreme court and if they decide they kick it over to the house of representatives to decide who will be the president but apparently the mainstream media has taken it upon themselves to act as our proxy and the proxy of the delegates of each state which sit in the House of Representatives to take up the mantle of proclaiming Biden the winner. Now, short term, this is going to be bullish for the market because it provides them an air of certainty. And we're going to talk more about this tomorrow night as news unfolds on Sunday Night Futures Live. So click that bell button if you want to get notified when we do go live. That doesn't always work, and it only fires off when we go live or shortly thereafter. If you want to get alerted in advance, use the email address opt-in form below. You'll get alerted 15 minutes to a half hour prior to us going live, and that way you won't miss a minute. And we go over the opening price action on the futures. We'll talk about the news. We'll talk about economic and earnings data coming out this coming week. It's usually a fun time, so join us again, 6 p.m. Sunday evening, Eastern Standard Time. Gold members, please enter your symbols in the checker cloud so that I could pull them and review them live for you on Sunday evening. So this is a an event that is unfolding. And again, I believe that short term, it'll be good for the markets, no matter how, in my own personal opinion, how I believe that it's wrong. Uh, that doesn't matter. The markets want certainty. They want visibility. They do not like indecision. Now, longer term, you're going to have 70 million people, half the electorate, that believes that they were disenfranchised. How that's going to manifest itself in the coming weeks, months, years, I don't know, but it can't be good. So the damage that's been done by this election, you can't put a, a price tag on it. Let's get to the charts. The symbols that we're going to go over today are EPI. That's the Wisdom Tree India ETF. Facebook, Amazon, Trex, and HGV, which is the Hilton ETF. So let's get to it. These are the charts that we like going into the new trading week. EPI is first up. I've already gone over these with members on the week ahead commentary. We did a deep dive into the whys behind why we like them, meaning we did a higher level view, monthly chart, weekly chart, daily chart. For the purpose of this conversation, I'm just going to use the weekly chart. And you can see on the EPI that we have broken out. A clean breakout. We did so last week. A bit of resistance above at this volume shelf. But there's our breakout point. RSI looking good. It broke out. Validating price action. Now, why do we like the EPI beyond the technicals? We like it beyond the technicals due to the fact that you have a supply chain shift moving out of China into India, Vietnam, and other emerging markets that will benefit. Also, the U.S. dollar is in decline. You want to buy emerging markets. The next chart up, Facebook, weekly time frame. We flashed an outside reversal bar last week, very bullish, and we broke out. Might we drift down lower to retest the support level or the breakout point? I should say and or. Sure, that's entirely possible. We have a breakout on RSI, Stokes, higher low from this prior low back here. We do have some resistance at the 305 mark, but that represents all-time highs. There's not a ton of overhead supply there, so I don't believe it's going to be a huge obstacle to break out and through. The next chart up, Amazon, little company you may have heard of. Amazon shares last week a outside reversal bar. Again, folks, I, I go over these in great detail with members on the week ahead commentary. It's posted in the members area, 
members, if you're watching this, go check that one out. You get more detail, entry points, exit points, stop points, listed in the watch list area. Back to the weekly chart, Amazon, outside reversal bar, very similar to Facebook last week. And we also broke out on Amazon above resistance. Might we see a retracement next week? Highly probable. And it's on that retracement back down to support. That's where we're going to be looking to open up a long position. The next chart up, Trex. Oh, and by the way, folks, I'm using TrendSpider. They're having a huge sale this weekend, 65% off. It's either 60 or 65% off. Use that link below in the video description area. I've never seen a discount this big with TrendSpider before. So please, take advantage of it. You're probably not going to see it again for a long time. So weekly chart of Trex. Let's use our automated trend lines. You can see, using the automated trend lines, for those not familiar, click a button. They're off now. Now they're on. You can see we have a lot of resistance above. What I want to do now is I want to overlay on a weekly chart monthly resistance. Do we have any? We do, as noted in dotted red line. So keep that in mind. Monthly resistance immediately above. Ideally, we get a pullback next week. We step in. We buy the pullback. The next chart up, HGV. Weekly chart. A really nice breakout last week. I mean, this is a stock. In fact, let's, let's pull back to a monthly chart to illustrate where we've been to appreciate where we might be going. And here's the early 2020 sell-off. We have since rebounded. We've been vacillating here for quite some time. But last week was a game changer in that what we did is we broke out above resistance. Now, when I apply the automated trend lines, I call TrendSpider my spell check for technical analysis. And it's free to our silver and gold level members. When I add on the trend lines, you can see that where we found support appears to have been a capitulation sell-off as we close down below the third standard deviation Bollinger Band, very oversold on a monthly time frame, and that bottom has held. So we take our crayon out, we draw our trend lines, there we have it, a pennant formation or a triangle formation, whatever you want to call it, call it cupcakes, it doesn't matter. We broke out last week. This is a monthly chart, month is not over. But on a weekly time frame, let's go back to the weekly chart, a very strong breakout. And you can see using the automated trend lines, we have very strong support below. And it looks like the path of least resistance appears to be changing here for Hilton and moving up. RSI broke out last week. And when we do enter these trades, folks, we do send out alerts to our members. We review each of our positions on market wrap each evening. Don't forget to join us on Sunday night for Sunday Night Futures Live. And everybody enjoy the remainder of your weekend. Be well.